In this video, I'm gonna show you how to safely remove an hard drive from an iPad. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you want to learn anything from photography, how to build a business, it's the place to go. They have all the course laid out in sections, so it's not like YouTube where you just have to watch random videos. It's all in a course layout, so it's a lot easier to follow. You can just watch each section when you want and when you get time. I've put a link in the description to get 30 days free trial, no sign up fees and cancel any time you want. This video is gonna be a short one. I get asked this quite a lot. I seem to use my iPad a lot more these days for editing these YouTube videos and doing quick edits while I'm out and about. This video is for anyone who's got an iPad Pro or is thinking about buying one. If you do a lot of work on computers, you will know that you need to safely remove hard drives. All it does if you don't is just damages the drives. On computers and laptops, there's always a little button next to your hard drive in the Finder menu. You'll notice this isn't there on an iPad. There's also no option to eject the drive either. Even if you tap and hold on the drive, you can't actually eject it properly. How iPads work is the drives just sit idle until you're actually using them, either on an app or on the Files app. This makes it a lot more simple to eject hard drives on an iPad. As long as you're not in the middle of a transfer or using the hard drive in an actual app, all you've got to do is quit all your applications and basically just pull the hard drive out. I want to make this video because there's not much information about hard drives and how you eject them safely from iPads. So if this video helped you in any way, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.